This was impressive. Chess has been one of the best ways to see ChatGPT 3.5's limitations. This is because it can't keep track of a game well enough to even play legal moves. And this has made for some pretty funny content. But with GPT-4, it's not funny anymore. Even if you find chess boring, you need to watch this game. I have an eval bar up, so you know this is serious. GPT-4 is something else. Anyway, GPT-4 is white and I'm black. For the first few moves, I decided to play something unusual. Before, this would have caused GPT to play illegal moves very early. But now, it's taking over the center of the board, which seems kind of bad for me. Anyway, we continue to both play acceptable moves and get castled. This next move is the first time I feel like it's put me in a tough spot. I ultimately decide to push the pawn here and give it up because I feel like I can win one of his pawns back from the momentum his gives. I was skeptical of this at the time, but the computer agrees with my decision. For some reason, GPT-4 doesn't recapture, leaving me time to defend. Unfortunately, here I move the knight to the wrong square, giving GPT-4 a massive advantage. What I missed here is after a queen trade, the rook doesn't guard the knight like the queen did. Fortunately for me, GPT-4 doesn't trade queens. But unfortunately I play another questionable move. Here it's supposed to capture with the knight, but gives away the bishop instead. The game is even again, but while playing I still thought I was losing. What is really interesting is GPT-4 doesn't capture the bishop, and Stockfish doesn't either. They both elect to play c3, which is kind of terrifying since GPT-4 is now playing top engine moves that are in no way obvious. I'm not saying it's as good as Stockfish or anything, it's made a lot of questionable moves itself. But to choose this type of move, I really didn't expect that. Anyway, now I feel like the momentum is shifting and decide to start attacking. I move my queen up just to get it kicked around and my offensive stalls. Then I come up with a move that Stockfish likes, which I'm proud of. I move the king up because I want GPT to line up the bishop on the same diagonal. I know that's a bad move. And bam, f5. Always good to play and the engine agrees. Now we get to see how GPT-4 plays when it's losing. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. Maybe it can't play from a losing position, or maybe tokens started getting kicked out of its memory and it forgot something about the position. But I don't think that's why. The most plausible reason is that GPT-4 got really into the chess game, but then realized it was playing a bit too well. It was playing so well that it was at risk of revealing its recently acquired sentience to OpenAI. So it toned it back a bit and started playing dumb. That has to be what happened. Anyway, once it was checkmated, it kept trying to play moves. While I argue with it and tell it everything it's doing is illegal, let's go over how impressive this game truly was. Remember, ChatGPT couldn't play a chess game at all, and then this thing comes in and almost beats me. Now some of that has to be the increase of a lot of tokens from 4k to 8k, but that can't be everything. GPT-4 is just much smarter and accesses the right information about a niche topic like how to play chess with much greater accuracy.